MMA Boxing Talk here. This is a prediction video for John Jones versus Dominic Reyes. We're 10 days out. It's next Saturday, the big fight. Um, I got, obviously, John Jones winning this. I think most people will be picking John Jones to win this fight. Having said that, his last few fights, Jones hasn't been his most dominant self. You know, we've seen him look more human. Um... So I think people are maybe giving Reyes more of a chance than normally because, you know, Jones has had some more human performances of late. I still have John Jones. I still have him winning pretty handedly. Um, Reyes is a good fighter. There's no doubt. He's a natural 205er. John Jones' last few opponents were, were middleweights that moved up. Um, so there's that. Reyes is, does have good kicks, there's no doubt. He's got a good left hand. We saw that against uh, Chris Weidman. Fade away, counter, knocked him right down. The problem is, John Jones is never going to be overextending like Weidman was. He's never going to be in a situation like that <clears throat> to get caught with a left hand, a fade away, a pull counter. That's not going to happen to John Jones. He's too smart. He's always in, for the most part, a good position. He never overextends himself. He never puts him in harm's way. He's very cautious, especially the fighter he is today. You know, when he first came up in the UFC, he was very, you know, erratic. He was a lot of chaos in his fights. Now he's more refined. He picks his spots, still has lots of weapons, uh, lots of ways to beat you, but he's way more calculated. And like I said, he's not going to put himself in a bad position. He's not going to overextend with sh his shots and leave himself open. I mean, he gets hit, but um, there's a difference between, you know, getting hit, going away, rolling with the punches, or partially blocking them instead compared to, you know, getting caught clean, not seeing it, walking into the shot. Big difference. Jones has a great chin, obviously. So I don't see uh, Reyes stopping John Jones. You know, I don't really see that being... I know anything can happen in MMA, but I don't see that being, you know, a uh, a pot, like, a, like a good chance. There's no, I don't see a good chance of that happening, I should say. I could see a late stoppage for John Jones, but I'm my prediction, my official pick, is going to be John Jones by decision over uh, Dominic Reyes. You know, I see John Jones... Possibly looking to take him down, but I think he's going to stand and, and trade with him. I think he's comfortable on the feet. Nothing that Reyes has is, is really something that John Jones has never faced before. Um, maybe the, the the package that Reyes is, he's never faced anyone exactly like him, but he's faced big, tall strikers with power. And, you know, just one example, his fight against Anthony Smith not too long ago. Now, I'm not comparing Smith to Reyes. They are different fighters. But Smith definitely was getting was knocking people out. He was looking dangerous. And when he fought John Jones, there wasn't really any moment in the fight where, like, wow, John Jones is in trouble. Or, oh, he almost ate, ate a huge shot there or whatever. John Jones was in control the whole time, and he made Smith look like an average fighter, look like someone that's just not dangerous like he, he was leading up to that fight. And, you know, the greats can do that to fighters. Now, I know in the, the fight against Santos, Jones, he looked very human in that fight. And and you could say, too, in the Smith fight, well, you know, if Smith was nothing, you know, wasn't really, didn't really have anything for Jones, why didn't Jones go in there and finish him and knock him out? It, it takes a risk. You extend yourself when, when you go for the finish. Um, so Jones... You know, more conservative now with his with his style. I think that'll benefit him against a guy like Reyes. But in the Santos fight, like I was saying, Jones definitely ate some punches and, and it wasn't a very impressive performance for John Jones. You know, if that was anyone else, people would be impressed. But, um, you know, Santos, he injured his leg. I believe it was his knee or his hip or something like that. He couldn't put much weight on it. Um, and... Obviously, takedown defense is going to be, you know, affected by that. Jones still didn't take him down. So you got to wonder what Jones was thinking. Maybe he just said, well, 
he could he could be easily taken down, but also when you don't have your legs under you, it's hard to really generate a whole lot of power. Um, you're more swinging with your, it's more arm punches and I mean, it's going to be tough to kick when you, when you can't, you know, put a whole lot of, uh, you know, the weight on your legs, either of them. So, um, but at, at the same time, Santos is not at all a similar style to Arreyes. He's short, explosive, powerful. I feel like those uh, styles are worse for John Jones. Like a rumble would be would be there, you know, cause some problems for Jones. We've seen a short, uh, you know, guy like DC who's very explosive give Jones some problems, especially in their first fight. I mean, Jones won it, but um, the first few rounds were interesting. So I don't see Dominic Reyes being one of those guys to, to really push John Jones and, and bring him into deep waters or... or um, I just I just see it going a lot more easy for John Jones compared to his last fight against Santos. I think it's going to be more smooth sailing. I think he's going to be he's going to get into control and just similar to the the Smith fight. Um, maybe we'll see a late stoppage, but I got Jones by decision. Let me know what you guys think. There's also another title fight on uh, this card as well. You have Shevchenko defending her title against Caitlin Jukagian. I mean, Shevchenko is just on a whole other level. I think she's a 7-1 to one favorite in this fight. Um, so, I mean, not really much worth discussing in that one. It's going to be Shevchenko winning, more than likely by stoppage. I think uh, Yir Latifi is making his heavyweight debut on this card, fighting Derek Lewis. So, that's one to look out for. Probably be an exciting matchup. More than likely won't go with the decision. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, who you're picking, how much of a shot do you give a guy like Dominic Reyes. If you liked the video, subscribe. That's it for this one. Peace.